which is here. You go to bypass mode, and then you literally just slide this. Let's do a speed test, see what we're getting. Oh man, that's even faster. everyone so today's video is going to be a follow-up to yesterday's video i had a couple of issues with things after i got my starlink set up which one is my news groups can't download two is my plex server cannot be viewed from outside of here and three seems to be airdrop does not work from my phone to my mac or my macbook to my mac or my imac to my macbook so um i think that this has to do with some special routing that the starlink router is doing what we're going to do today is we're going to go through the original Original setup process which I copied from yesterday's video so you can like skip a couple minutes and then we'll get to the part where I will show you how to set up your Starlink router in bypass mode which will then just take the internet and pass it through to another router which I'll be using a Nest Wi-Fi Pro system. Let's go through the setup then we'll go through setting this into bypass mode and see what kind of speeds we get and uh, what we think essentially after this. I'm going to find a spot out here where that hopefully it can get through these trees and uh, we will get this all set up and working and be able to have some internet here at my place. Well, let me figure this out. So here's a little look at this cable. Very nice ethernet cable. I would say this is probably 25 to 50 feet. It is a Cat 5e. They did not give us Cat 6, but yeah. Uh, let's see. So maybe I can go that way. Let's also see how long this is. There you go. And uh, figure out the rest of this, hold on. All right, so I think I'm gonna put the satellite here because from this view, that would be its sky view, which to me, that looks pretty good. So let's uh, get a cable over here. There we go. Then uh, we'll just plug this in way up underneath here. All right, cable's in, ran up. Let's go plug everything in inside now. And then yeah, it should still be yeah. All right, back inside. Started setting stuff up. I've got a battery backup here, which I realized this internet would work as long as that battery backup's on to power this. Like the satellites aren't gonna go down if the power goes down. That's pretty cool. Now, I ran this cable from the satellite temporarily just through here for now, and then it's ran down to the satellite down bottom. You can see on the back, ethernet cable goes here, power cable goes here, pretty simple. So this one into here. Like so, no clue how in the world you're supposed to eject that. No clue at all. And the power cable. And when this goes in, boom. We should get a little light there. There we go. So now I'm just gonna set that right there and let's get the app out. So just simply scan this QR code with your phone. It takes you to the app store, download the Starlink app. This is the Starlink app. This is the Starlink app. I'll show you what to do next. I'll be so glad when that's over. No more long downloads. And this is what I mean. Now it's saying five minutes left. Come on. I wish I'd have downloaded this before I came home. <laughs> All right, so this is our Starlink app. Now we'll click Start Setup and it asks us what we have. So we have the standard and we'll confirm that. Find a clear view of the sky. It's going to need to be outdoors with a completely clear view. All right, we did that. So I have a clear view and uh, yeah, continue with backstand. All right, plug the Starlink into your router. It's plugged in. Connect to Starlink Wi-Fi, open settings. Okay, there it is, wide open. There we go. Now, let's go back. Starlink paired successfully. All right, continue. Determining location, software update. Got a few things going on down here, but let's, uh, internet access will be restricted in 53 minutes if Starlink is not activated. All right, activate Starlink. I'm gonna blur that number because I don't know if it's important, but I'll click new account. And then I enter in my address here. All right, to service, residential, continue to check out. And now I'll cover my address and that device ID again, but I'll fill out some contact and billing information and it's gonna be way more than it was supposed to be. I thought the first month was free. Joy. So I can say I'm very unhappy about this. Congestion charge is just stupid and uh, I'm supposed to get the first month of service for free. So unfortunately, I can't even call them or start support till I go through this. So I'm not happy about that personally. All right. 
Don't know why my business card wouldn't go through, but uh, let's set a password now. All right, I set my password. So I guess I go back to the app. Determining location, your Starlink is looking for it. may take up to 15 minutes. Don't unplug your Starlink during this time. All right, so let's go to configure some Wi-Fi. Make us a real SSID and password. All right, submit that. Now it's applying those settings, so I'm just gonna... All right, looks like that is set up. Let's click connect. Fixie wireless, put in my password. And now we jump back to the screen, which it says it's rebooting. I think it is rebooting. I see this little light flashing. So searching for satellites, determining alignment, adjust it may be necessary. Just gonna give this a moment to do its thing. So currently it says it's online, but it's also still doing an update. So essentially that's a look at after the unboxing setup process you would go to till you get to this point where you would then, when you then start setting up your regular router like I'm doing here. So this is what I've gotten every time I've tried to use my news groups, not normal. I also cannot airdrop from like this to this with the Starlink router. So what I'm gonna do is, this cable goes to the Plex server. I'm gonna plug that cable into this Nest Wi-Fi Pro on the uh, right side here, and then run a cable from this side, port two behind here, which is technically where this is currently plugged in at because that is number three. Three. Then I'm going to go into the settings and put this into bypass mode so that essentially it should send all of its routing configuration information directly to this, which shouldn't have a problem with Plex, shouldn't have a problem with my news groups, everything should work great, and this is still Wi-Fi 6E. So uh, let's put this in bypass mode. So tomorrow I get to put up my uh, mount, which should hopefully fix both of those. You can see uh, I had one section when it lost ping right around 7.45, maybe 10 some odd minutes ago, but it's been pretty good. Still uploading some stuff here, still downloading some stuff here. I like it. So to get into bypass, you just go down here to the very few settings that you have, which is here. You go to bypass mode, and then you literally just slide this and then it tells you to use Starlink Wi-Fi, you'll need to physically access the Starlink Wi-Fi router again to perform a manual factory reset. All right, cool. Help us improve blocking specific websites. I'm gonna call it IP4 port 40. There we go. All right, now it's going through and doing its reboot process. While it's doing this, I'm gonna hook up this router. All right, so now everything is wired up. As you know, I already put this in bypass mode. It was rebooting. I've now ran this cable, which sadly all I had is this long one. I gotta get some three foot ones out of storage to the first port, the main ethernet port of this Google Nest Wi-Fi Pro. Then this uh, white cable goes to the Plex server here. And uh, lastly, let's give it power. I will not bore you with the setup of setting up a Google Nest Wi-Fi Pro router because I've already made that video. So. There we go. Let's kind of set it like that. Let this boot. I'll get my Google Home app, go through the setup. I'll come back once this is actually set up and working. There we go. That's doing its thing. Very, um, this is technically in the kitchen. Create a Wi-Fi name. I do notice that's actually purple. You may not be able to see it may look white, but I promise you, well, it's purple. All right, this should be up in a few more minutes and then we can uh, test some stuff. All right, so everything seems to be up on this. So opening back up the SpaceX app for the first time since I did bypass mode, still have this to fix tomorrow. And so now it just shows it coming in and going out. It, it no longer shows the router there. Okay, so that's pretty easy. Let's do a speed test, see what we're getting. Oh man, that's even faster. That's the fastest I've seen. Oh my God. What are we getting for upload now? Okay. I can say this server was uploading some stuff, so it may have instantly restarted if it reconnected since it's hardwired, but 16 megs up, 220 down. That's the best speed I've seen. And that's the first speed test after switching from this to that's, that's amazing. So let's uh, try a few other things. Let's see if we can airdrop this. There we go, my iMac and it says waiting. It actually sent it. There we go. Complete. It would not do that earlier. Let's try Naked and Afraid. Open this file. Do we get an error? It's not doing nothing at the moment. So I'm at least getting more info than before. We ignored for 10 minutes. Cannot connect a server. Server name does not resolve. Very, very interesting. Because if I switch this over to 4G, this exact file will download. It'll just take forever. This still shows fully accessible outside my network. That's great. Let's do a wired speed test. All right, Starlink. Let's see what we're getting now. This is hardwired directly to my Google and then plugged in 
to the uh, Essentially Starlink modem. That's surprising to see that it's lower, which I mean, this could be signal and anything going on outside right now, but surprising to see that lower speed. Still 25 millisecond ping, good upload. Let's try it from the iMac. All right, let's run this speed test, see what we get. Wi-Fi from literally here to right there. Very close, much faster. That's very interesting. The other speed test stopped at 42 down, 19 up. This one on wireless is gonna be, I mean, it hit 160, so. And this is still with a misaligned satellite. So once I fix that, these speeds could even improve even more. But this is essentially what you can expect in terms of uh, putting your modem in bypass mode and uh, using it that way, it seems to uh, seems to work great. So I still have some digging to do on my news groups. Don't really know what's up with these, but glad the Plex server is working. Glad the internet seems fast, and uh, now I don't have that pesky Starlink networking uh, going on in my network. 46 down. I mean, this is all plenty to stream stuff. So at the end of the day, it's uh, I can't complain. I think I'm just gonna leave it like this. 13 up, plenty. And so that light's now gone. Now that it's fully set up so that's very interesting to notice all right so unfortunately it did not solve all of my problems the plex server seems to be really back and forth news groups are at least giving me an actual error message now which i was not getting before that but on the plus side probably the most important one airdrop works from all devices so if you get starlink and you run across some of these issues which most of you are not most people are not going to have a plex server almost a very small portion of people will be downloading from news groups i've not tried torrents but i know torrents can be tracked easier so i don't uh i never do torrents that's why i did news groups with the ssl so that's unfortunately uh what we're looking at here so uh that's a little bit though of a guide of how you would put your Starlink modem router into bypass mode or that, you know, you can have a device behind it handle everything. As far as I'm aware, you could put a firewall behind this, like a Cisco PIX or something, and uh, it would then be able to take that connection and do your routing and do everything you need to do the same way my Google Nest Wi-Fi Pro system is doing here. That's, uh, that's it. I can say I ran some more speed tests depending on signal and clouds, it's all over the place, but I've, I've gotten 75 to 150 megs, still unaligned. I'm getting my uh, mount later today. And so that's more than enough, always 15 to 20 megs upload. So no complaints in terms of the speed. It was just the routing that they were doing is what I thought was causing some of these issues, but it must be something else. So if you have any questions, of course, leave them below and uh, I'll get to those. And that should do it for today's video. I think this will be my last one without a mic. I'm gonna open this mic like next. So click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. See you in the next one. Deuces.